Here we go. Check, 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 check. How's that, guys? Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. All right, we should be getting sound by now. I think. I think we are. Uh, four, eight, nine. Fidel, what's up? Choice Inc., what's up? Four, eight. Is it a thousand, a hundred, four, eight, nine? Sorry, I'm just trying to get my stuff. Whoops. Four, eight, nine. A little bit static. It is? Well, let me see. Is that a little staticky, really? Check, check, check. How's everybody doing this morning? How's y'all doing? We're doing hats this morning. Uh, we have some, well, not just hats. We're doing um, hats, beanies, and things. Um, let's see. But before we do that, we're going to do a test run because I just want to make sure it's good. The only thing I don't like about um, doing these things, the test runs and all that, is I have to take this thing apart. Not apart, but I got to take the uh, driver off and do all that. If I can get this thing out of here. Ah, stupid thing gets stuck all the time, all the time. It's like, I don't really tighten it that hard, but it still gets stuck. I don't know why, I don't know why. One second, guys. Come on, man. There we go. Always get stuck. Sorry. Uh, what's going on? Um, beer boss, who make those work shirts? They look nice. Yeah, I did. You like that? This is actually DTF. DTF. Which is pretty cool. So how's y'all doing? It is, what is it? It's hump day. We have a short week, but um, for those of you who have kids, it is minimum day. For those who have minimum, usually what Wednesday is a minimum day for schools, right? So I got to go pick up my son early today. Who is that? Dang, that's a big old truck. Hope you guys uh, had a great three-day weekend for those of you that took the vacation, smart enough to take the vacation. I wasn't. I had way too much work going on. But I did have a gig on Monday, so that was pretty cool. I'm cleaning my room and moving stuff around. Fidel, what's up? Oh, I said what's up to Fidel already. Um, that's what I need to do, Frankie. I got to... I got so much junk here. I gotta, man, such a mess too, man. I gotta, I gotta do a lot of cleaning. All right, so what we're doing is I'm using this bag, um, just a little, little bag. I'm gonna be doing um, our test print on it. Let's 
get the backing at least. I can grab one. I'm running out of backing. Look at that. Running out of backing. I literally have three left. Three left. Man, it's hot today. It's like almost 90 degrees right now. It's hot. All right, let's get this backing in here so we can do our test. <coughs> oh. Let's load this in. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I mean to cough at you guys. Come on. All right, so we got that in. Hey, Rye, happy to be here. Oh, man, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Yorn said, uh, shoulders and back are sore. 300-piece manual screen print on T-shirt, front and back. It's, ooh, man. So, Bjorn, you did 300 front and back. How many did you, did you do? until you actually like stop and took a break. Cause you know, us screen printers, manual screen printers, we're pushing and pushing and pushing or pulling, whatever it is. You know, we it's guaranteed, you know, something is, you're gonna notice something different um, after what, 30, 40, 50 prints, right? So what was your like, okay, you know, I need to take a break. I need to rest and print again to make sure like, it's somewhat even, as far as the stroke and as far as the um, the distribution of the ink, right? I usually take about every 50 strokes, every 50. Then I stop, take a break, and go again. Because, you know, we it, it's always it's always different after a certain point, right, how, how it prints. Hey, Jocelyn, how's it going? All right, let me check the, what's my stitch here? I got white. Purple, white, black, and white. So I got five. So we go to our stitches. We got white, which is three. We got purple, which is not even in there. I got purple right here. Um, I got to do a color change. All right, we'll put it on. Uh, we'll put it on fifteen. 15, then we got white, right? White, no, I'm sorry, black and then white, shoot. Then white. Eighty. I gotta change that color. So I gotta go white. Purple, black, black is number one. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna do a color change. Uh, best way to do it is you grab the old thread or the thread that you wanna swap out. You make a little lead about like so, cut it. Let me uh, put this thing back in here before it unravels itself. Okay. What I want to do is um, put the thread in there real quick, or the cone. So the call is the cone. Put the cone in there and get our lead. Time up. Not a big knot, just a little small little knot. Okay. Let's get the one that we're gonna switch and then we pull it. Pull it slowly, make sure it goes all the way through. Whoops. It's easier doing it this way than try to feed it 
because uh, going through the wheels and all that stuff, the tensioners, it's not fun. It takes a lot of time. All right, let's feed this thing through. Sometimes the needle gives a little bit of a headache I'm trying to push it through. Oh, I wasn't even close. Come on now. There we go. All right, I think we're all set. Now we gotta do is one, two, three, four. Now we're going to, oops, dang it. One, one, three, okay. We're doing one, three, four, three. Let me see. Sorry, guys, give me one second. Let me get set up here. One, three, three. Let's trace. Let it go. Cool. All right, now we can get back to the uh, to you guys. Ah, let's see here. Let me go back up. We are said print plus print around 45 and then take a break end up taking painkillers oh my gosh man i hope um hope you feel better man because yeah I, I know how that feels <laughs> oh Novo works what's up slacker hey Novo, you going to uh the impressions this weekend i think you said you are right uh choice sync ink says uh i feel the pain we're a manual shop too and print for a local school. We print 1300 front and back. My goodness. Hey man, Choice Inc. Um, I might have to try to look for um, getting an auto. <laughs> 1300 for a school? My goodness. Then the school called and said we sent the wrong. Oh my gosh. Dude, that sucks. He says, so I had to do them again, knock the reorder out in two days, but it was one color. Oh, but still, that sucks. That's just a lot of time wasted. No worries that I have 30 something shirts I need to embroider to. Gotta finish some vehicle wraps first. Dang, 30 shirts. Yeah, hey, I got some shirts I gotta do, which is always, eh, okay, I guess. Your shirt logo is not lined up on the back of your shirt. What are you talking about? It's good. Ride Beats. Coming to ISS this weekend? Um, no, I'm not. Um, I have actually, a, I have a wedding this weekend that I have to do. So that's why I, I won't be able to make it. And then, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I won't be able to make it. And I totally forgot it was this week. So, whoops. I did sign up for it. So if you want to just say you're right beats, uh, go get go get my um, my badge. You get like a, a media pass. JBM, do you prefer stabilizer in rolls or pre-cut? Um, that's a great question. I have a, I have a, I, I, I have a stabilizer in a roll. I haven't used it, yet, but I like the pre-cut. Even like um, these ones, these long ones. Oh, there's a four by sixteen. Um, it's a little cheaper than getting like the actual pre-cut. So I, ju I just cut in half. So I'll cut these in half. Um, I do have a roll, but I haven't I haven't used it yet because I'm, I'm going through those. 
I do, I prefer the uh the pre cut. Well, you know what? You get more out of the uh the roll because you can cut it to size. So I guess it's what you prefer. But I like, I prefer the uh the cut uh pre cut sized ones. No worse at right. Looks like I'm going to Friday most likely. Okay. Have fun, man. Tell me how it goes. I was looking at the uh, floor plan. It looks like there was like, I think like 20 vendors. It's the same as like the Houston one last year or two years ago. I have it on, um, I was looking at the other day. Uh, yeah, brutal, but thank God it was their fault. So they had to pay for, oh, okay, good, man. But still, as to me, that's just a lot of wasted time. You know, you could have been doing something else. But man, that's brutal, man. <laughs> uh, Waldo says, I'm not going either. Forgot about it. Hey, Johnny, Johnny HD graphic. What's up? How are you? How are you? Happy hump day. Happy Wednesday hump day. Uh, we're doing an uh, embroidery uh, stitch out real quick. It looks pretty good. It looks like it looks pretty good actually. Oh, we're doing hats, a couple of beanies, and a handful of shirts. So, oh man, I'm still exhausted from Monday. I had a wedding. I mean, it was a simple wedding. Um, I was only, I was only, um, let's see, my services for that wedding was just DJing and MC. But when I did the walkthrough with them a few weeks ago, I saw where the ceremony was. It was the same place, just a different area. And I was like, um, who's doing the sound for the ceremony? He said, you are. I'm like, oh, okay. I am. Um. Since, but he, since he was a, a good friend of a friend, I was like, you know what? Let me just give it to you. Let me just do it. It's going to be simple. But it wasn't as simple as I thought. Because I got, we only had an hour and a half to set up. For me to set up two locations, is, you know, it, it's, it was really tough. Especially I have to go from the back of the, back of the house. It was at a mansion. Back of the house to the front of the house. Man, I was drenched in sweat. Like... I was dripping in sweat. It, it was ridiculous. Good thing I, I was, you know, I had I had other clothes, but man. And then the uh, mics wasn't working. You know, you test the mics, everything works. But when it comes down to the actual event, like right, you know, once we get started, it starts cutting in and out. Uh, that happens a lot with like when people starting to walk in, they're using their phones. All these frequencies you have camera guys going wire you know a lot of wireless around the area it always cuts up even though if you have a, like a, a line of sight it sucks but anyways i'm so tired i'm still trying to recover from that <laughs> uh choice thing says agreed it set us behind on other jobs for sure yeah i mean yes it was their fault they paid for it but i mean which is great don't get me wrong but it's just to me, that's just wasted time. And it's like, man, you could have been doing something else, you know? But anyways, Johnny, doing great. Not a big order coming in today. Oh, got a big order coming today. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Um, hope as well. Choice Inc., what size is your shop? Um, the shop back here is uh, the screen printing shop. It is a 10 by 20. So it's a one-car garage. And then I'm in the two-car garage, which is up, up front. Um, I'm only using maybe, I don't know, a little bit of it. Because <laughs> from, from here on, uh, I got shelving for uh, the DJ stuff. And I got garage stuff back here on the other side. So I just have this little corner here for the embroidery. And then uh, my HTV stuff, my cutters are on this side. or that side of the wall so as far as this printing stuff this is 10 by 20. yeah it gets pretty hot in there <laughs> oh it's a repeat customer okay cool i like those repeat customers 
Let me check this out real quick. Wow. Dang, it looks pretty good. Now, I don't know what it is, but this machine, this Tajima, the stitching on it is really nice. I know a lot of it has, has to do with the digitizing, but I've never seen... Well, I shouldn't say I've, I've never seen. I've seen the other ones, but uh, um, like the Melcos. But this one stitches out really, really nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I was going to... Black, right? White still? I don't even know how this thing looks. Uh, how is it supposed to look? Give me one second. Oh. Man, this thing is 8,000 stitches. 8,200. Let's see here. Uh, Johnny asks, was, hard, was it hard learning embroidery? Um, there is a learning curve in embroidery. Um, the the hardest thing for me was getting the graphic, getting digitized. So um, I it, once you find a good digit, if you're not gonna do the digitizing yourself, once you find a good digitizer, man, uh, it's 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 uh, it's a make or break thing. Um, Digitizing to me is like make if you're a screen printer, right? Digitizing is like making your screens. So if you have once you make your screens and it's bad, it looks jaggedy and all jacked up, that's how your print's gonna look. Same thing with the digitizing. If if you don't have a good digitized um, design or artwork, it's not gonna look good. So digitizing is the key. Uh, that's how I see it. Everything else mechanical, like uh, learning how to um, put the bobbin in, how to thread things, all that stuff. It's it's just mechanical stuff. But like, yeah. If if, if but if you want to learn how to do the digitizing, I still would would uh, suggest you find a good digitizer as a backup, or just keep paying the digitizer until you figure out how to um, do the digitizing yourself. But yeah, digitizing is key, guys as far as inverted goes but um yeah i mean I, I think that's the hardest thing um then learning the software on the on the machine which is this is an older machine so it doesn't have the big nice lcd touch screen though that will make it much easier this is all like it's 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 really um it's done it's really like stupid like you know you have to go to here to get to your to your needles you have to go through here to get to here um but if you have the lcd screen ones they'll make it make your life much much easier as far as setting things but yeah i mean it's just a machine so whatever you're used to let me see oh crap i put the wrong stitch <laughs> hold on let me see here yeah that's supposed to be yeah i got these things backwards i knew it I knew it. Let's let's do it again because uh, since we're just kind of fooling around here, look at that. the white supposed to be black, and then the uh, the black supposed to be white. Whoops! See, that's the other thing. It's like you gotta know your stitches. Um, let's go back to here. So the first one is white. That's what I did, right? White. Then the next one is purple. F. And then 
Oh, I missed one. Purple and then white, purple, and then white, and then black, and then white again. That's what I did. I skipped one. Whoopsie. See, those are the things. You gotta make sure that, uh, uh, you know, the sequence of the stitches. If not, you're gonna be like this idiot here and um, mess everything up. See, good thing we do a stitch out. Now let's just do a, a quick. Oh, that's pretty close. Let's see. Oh, we're good. Let's try that again, guys. That. All right. Noboworks says, all right, Mike's Chars can go live later. All right, make sure you guys follow um, Noboworks. It's going to go live later, later on today. I'm probably like, what, round nine or uh, something like that? It says, yep, digitizing is key and can be trickier as it varies on material, exercising, et cetera. Correct. Do you do it yourself and send it out, and will you ever try learning? Yeah, I'm... I'm I want to learn digitizing. I want to learn. Um, yeah, right now I'm sending it out. Um, right now it's cost effective for me to send it out while I learn. Um, so I can just keep it going. Choice Inc. says, yeah, on YouTube. If you're talking about Noboworks, yeah, he's going to go live on YouTube. Uh, I don't know. What time are you going live? Probably after this one, right? Because I got about 20 minutes till I log off. I try to stay here for about an hour, 45, 45 to about an hour in, in the mornings. Um, and then I try to go back live again later on today, which is cool. Um, I do have a lot of videos, guys. I do have some, man, I have so many videos that I took when I was locked up off of YouTube. Um, I just got to post it. Just being kind of lazy at the moment. Uh, let's see here. Slight issue for the day is... Oh, anyway, sorry guys. Um, yep, a little late. Is it a software and which one? Um, I'm trying to learn the software, which is the uh, what's that software called? What's that software called? I was just looking at it. Let me see. It's uh, Wilcom. That's the software that I'm, I'm learning. Uh, Choice, I don't know if you saw my message earlier, but thanks for the Twitch follow. I hadn't streamed in a week so or so when you followed okay no no worries no worries hey man gotta get let's get on it let's get on it let's get on it i know it takes a lot more time to set up and just anything just streaming right <laughs> what's up leonardo but yeah try to get back on it leonardo not liking my I heard a clicking noise, so I don't know what that was. Not liking my, what is it you don't like, uh, Leonardo? Because I was in the same boat when I first bought this. It took, like, it sat here for months. Leonardo, I bought a new Recoma. So is, just, is it just learning the digitizing? It's probably just the digitizing, right? Can't get it started. Uh, if you bought a new Recoma, ask, they should have a, um, like a support for that. I bought this thing used, so like there is really no support, just the guy that I bought it from. 
EM1010. 3K for digitizing software. Yeah, JBM is it's super expensive. It's uber expensive. Is that how you say it? Is that how you use that word, Uber? Other than, you know, the service Uber? <laughs> uh, 10, 10. Don't know about that one. What's the... Yeah, especially if you got it brand new, um, they should have your the support system for you like like crazy because um, they, they're they're willing to help out new new um, new operators. So make sure to call them. Um, I'm not sure what kind of what kind of issue you're having, but uh, if it's if it's a digitizing issue, um, I would I would uh, look for somebody that that will digitize, and then that that can help you. Oh shoot, I gotta do something. I just remember I gotta do something. One thirty. Lady was talking too fast. Oh, I see. Get them get them on Zoom or something like that. Zoom or uh, Facebook Live. Did you get training for that? Oh, okay. We started talking about the thing. Yeah, but if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys put them down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up on your way out. I know us, us, when I say us, uh, the YouTube creator people, they ask you to hit the thumbs up and stuff. That just helps um, acknowledge and, and kind of like spread the word out. So like if someone, um, doing some uh embroidery like this and just whatever's on the tag if they do a search or they've done a search back then that says embroidery it kind of uh it gives them a, a notification say hey this guy's live right now or whatever it is so it does help a little bit i feel like rye when he guesses too <laughs> hey man hey yeah it'll, it'll take a while <laughs> it takes a while but don't get frustrated that's what happened i got frustrated i kind of gave up on it i'm like you know what let let me just sit back and really think about what was going on because i really ha I, I had a bunch of issues wasn't stitching out correctly wasn't coming out correctly but um but i learned that i had to um get this thing tuned up with uh, uh the tension on the threads and then get a good digitizing digitizer and yeah just knowing the ins and outs make sure it's looped correctly it's looped constantly especially here in the garage where the temperature is roughly around 90 degrees i i, I lubricate it um after like i don't know after each bobbin i take out i, I put it in there what's up the shop i use rip okay jason do you use rip software uh no i don't I don't. I do have a RIP software, um, but I don't use it. Uh, I like. I'm old school. I like. I like doing it manually. I don't know why, but I do it manually. And I think I only if if I do have to use something like a RIP software to you know uh, for a screen printing. I maybe use it like once a year, or I have to do that once a year, if that maybe twice a year. I don't I don't do that much um, most of my stuff are like two color three color but I do all that manually noble work says he used a rip he say he only uses the rip for wide format printer and it handles the cutter too are you using the um, accurate I'm assuming uh oh is it not did I get the colors wrong again Yeah, looks good. Looks good. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions, put them down below. Um, got about a good 10 minutes, 12 minutes here before we head on out. Oh. I got I gotta text this guy real quick.
Uh, no flexi. What's up, bad Brad? No, Flexi 21 designer rip print. Okay, use Flexi. I have Flexi. I just don't know how to use it. Oh, my light just turned off. It's on a, um, one of those motion sensor thing. Kind of sucks. All right, let me see here. Uh, let's see. All right, guys. So if there's any other... um. Questions, put them down below. If now we're going to head on out of here. I just want to say what's up and good morning to you guys. Nova Works says, um, got to print some photo booth wraps. Ooh. Ooh, that's a great idea. I need to wrap my photo booth because uh, it's, it's looking really plain at the moment. All right, guys, I got to take care of this thing real quick. I'm getting messages left and right. So that's it, guys. Um, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to show you guys what we did since we finished. Look. Like I said, this one's, oops, wrong stitch count or wrong stitch color. And this one should be correct. You guys want to see it? So that looks pretty cool. That's how we do stitch out. Make sure... We get it right because the last thing I want is to print this, this messed up one on the customer's hat and ruin the hat. But uh, it looks good. It looks really good, actually. Yeah, so we're going to roll with that later on today. All right, um, we'll see you guys later on. I'm going to try to go live later on this afternoon. Um, if I don't, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right? Peace out, guys. Have a great rest of the day.